be under no doubt this European capital is fast turning into a battlefield. There are troops on street corners and under bridges. Armoured vehicles constantly crisscross the city, bolstering positions, waiting for the enemy. The Ukrainian military are fighting, but they will struggle to hold on. Tanks, APCs and trucks maneuver beneath the road arches. They're attempting to shield themselves from attack from the skies, holding on until the Russian infantry and paratroopers attempt to get further into Kiev by road and on foot. Well, that's the expectation anyway. There's been a huge exodus from the city. Those left behind attempt to thumb lifts, heading west. Others stop passing cars and ask if they're heading their way. More often than not, it's a fruitless hope. The air raid sirens are irregular now. It's scary stuff. With their belongings, they try to hurry off the streets. Most head for the metro stations, trying to get underground. Mums and dads and their little ones, trying to find safety if they can't find a way out. Everyone feels exposed. Everyone feels vulnerable. Well, that's the haunting sound as, uh, of uh, the air raid sirens. It's pushing people into taking cover. You just heard a crump of an explosion. It's like this all over the city now. APCs up here. Exactly where and when the Russians may attack a new target remains unknown, of course. So there's constant movement. Much of the city is now deserted. Hardly any people in the centre of town, just a few cars driving between homes or looking for a few shops that are still open. And on the streets as well, civilian militia armed and ready to support the army. Huge explosions woke everyone in Kiev as the Russian mission continues. Fiery debris falling onto residential buildings below. This is life in Kiev now. The country's president making exactly that point. When bombs fall on Kiev, it happens in Europe, not just in Ukraine. When missiles kill our people, it is the death of Europeans. I demand greater security for Europe, greater protection for Ukraine as part of a democratic world. Many of the Ukrainian soldiers are very young and inexperienced. 21-year-old Sergei Petroshenko is the only soldier guarding a footbridge. He has fired 16 rounds in his life. Now he waits for the Russians. His home village has already fallen. Uh. There are a uh, Russian base in my village, uh, and from my village they're gonna uh, go here on Kyiv to capture it. Uh, yeah, it's really scary and terrifying. I am uh, called to my parents; uh, they really scared. There's Russians in our village, enemies. There's. Uh, Tanks, uh, heavy vehicle. Uh, I hope that uh, they will be fine. In their thousands, they descended on the central railway station, trying to get seats on any train heading south. Guards firing into the air, trying to maintain order. It rarely works with people already traumatized. It was chaotic and desperate, but that is what it's like here now. The fear of the unknown is what's so difficult for the people. Ukraine is holding its breath while the world watches on. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Kiev.